Jennifer is with us in Atlantic City. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave and Chris. Thank you so much for taking my call. I really appreciate it. Sure. What's okay, up? I live in New Jersey, mm-hmm. and um, this summer we I was notified by Easy Pass in New Jersey that um, our payment wasn't being processed. Um, so I called Easy Pass to correct the issue with my credit card. But of course, this summer, no one was working in Easy Pass. I couldn't get a hold of anyone because of COVID. Everybody's working from home. I tried. My husband tried. Anyway, we ended up changing the information online with the credit card, straightening it out, what we thought was for ourselves. And I just went to my mailbox and I just found out we were reported to collections. Because the situation that we thought was rectified was indeed not. So it is truly no fault of our own. Um, We're just having a hard time in the state of New Jersey trying to get any kind of public employee to respond. So I'm just curious, um, what do I do now? It's $175. I'm going to say the total charge was maybe $75. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you know, this is not the first time I've heard Easy Pass sucks. Um, you've heard that before, too, haven't you, Jennifer? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, this they kind of have a reputation like Comcast, you know? It's just like, oh, yes. it's like, ugh. When you hear it, you just go, oh, it's hard to find intelligent life over there. It's like the DMV or something. Um, so, and then worse than that, they all decide not to work. So, um, you know, work from home entails work but not for everyone. So, um, ouch. So what are you saying? You, you, your bit, you did not pay your bill on time because the account was screwed up. You went online, thought you fixed it and it was still screwed up. Yes. But it kept on saying, you have to speak to someone. Um, you have to talk to someone from easy pass to correct this problem. And you never and could. We tried yeah. and we could this summer we couldn't. And we just assumed, okay, well we updated the information ourselves. I guess we're okay. But then today I go and I find out now it's up to $175 and we've been reported to collections. Yeah. I've never been reported to collections. Well, there's no, it's not bills. like, it's not like they're going to come to your house or something. Don't worry about it. They're not working that hard. Um, so, uh, and collections is just aggravating. I yeah. mean, it may have dinged your credit or something, but whoop de doop de, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I, 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 I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you're asking me how to motivate a government employee. I don't know how to tell you how to do that. Um, okay. You know, I'm sorry. I'm being smart aleck, but it's also the truth. I mean, how do you how do you get somebody who can't lose their job for incompetence to work? Yes. Um, I'm I'm. Being feeling very frustrated. Yeah, angry. Right yeah, now. It's, yeah, I get yeah. you. Um, so, uh, or you know, I mean, it'd be okay if they said, "Look, uh, we're not going to charge you anything because we're not getting our work done over here." That's different. But instead, they're like trying to ding you like triple for for this thing. Right. So, um, I don't know what I would do in this situation. Is I would just continue to be a bother to them until I got it fixed. And I don't know. I mean, you know, just like every morning, I got to get up, got to make my Easy Pass call, and then we'll go on you know, with the rest of our day yeah. until we get somebody with a brain plug, two brain cells to rub together to try to get our way work through this problem and get this charge removed down to the original charge and then get it paid. I, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't have a good answer for you, but I do share your frustration. You can tell.